Hey creative, what's up? It's your girl Jamila and welcome back to my laboratory. So today is part two of our Christmas craft series and I'm going to show you how you can create your own cuttable SVG in Canva. And then we'll create these adorable Santa sacks. I'll have everything I use listed in the description box below. And if you like this video and you learned something new, give your girl a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Make sure that bell notification is on so you don't miss any of my upcoming craft tutorials. Okay, creative. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead to canva.com and we're going to hit create a design. Now, it doesn't really matter what size we use um, for this project. So let's just hit letter. Then we're going to go over here to elements. Let's type in Christmas monogram. Select graphics. We'll just filter by graphics. And just scroll down until you see something that you like. So I'm going to take this. And I just want to say before we even get into it, this will not work on every element in Canva. Okay. So um, we can use this because if you look close, it's pretty much an SVG, right? Um, you can see like clear cut lines, things like that. But on something like this, it would not work because this is more of a PNG, a sublimation image. Um, you know, I mean, it could cut out the shape, but if you wanted this detail in it, it wouldn't, the Cricut wouldn't be able to cut out that. So pretty much to be able to tell if you'll be able to use this as a cut image or not, you would click it. So you see when we highlight this, we're able to change the colors. So if you can like change the colors, it can be cut. But like on here, I can't change the colors. I can't make any adjustments to it. Okay, so it wouldn't be able to be cut. So that's kind of like a little bit of a way to filter out if it can or cannot be used as cut file. Okay, and back to this. So um, let's just make it a little bit bigger. And so you see the image right here. We're going to hit these three dots and it's just going to give us a little bit more information. So the licensing for this image, it, it says in Canva that we can use this. You can use this in marketing or social media or even sell merchandise with your design on it. So this design that I'm about to make, I can go ahead and use it for my Santa sacks and sell my Santa sacks or shirts or things like that. But you cannot... Just take this A and sell it on its own as like a cut file or whatever. And you can't uh, put this in a logo or anything like that that needs to be trademarked, okay? So anytime you ever have questions, that's pretty much anything on Canva. But if you ever had any questions, you could always just hit those three dots right there. And it'll bring up all the information that you would need, okay? And again, this is a Canva Pro design, so it's free for me to use. But if you don't have Canva Pro, I'll leave the link in the description box where you can try it free for 30 days. All right, so I think I covered everything. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead with our design. So I like this. I just made it a little bit bigger. And we can leave it black for now. We don't even need to change the colors. But what I do want to do is add some text. So you can go over um, back into the elements tab, type in Merry Christmas, use one of these that they have, right? If you wanna do that. And you see this would be, would be able to be cut. This one can be cut, but like all those intricate details and stuff would just make it a little bit tedious and like not even worth it okay but i mean do what you want to do this is you know if you want to go ahead and try it knock yourself out but that's just my opinion so anyway i don't like any of these so i'm just going to go ahead and hit the t on my keyboard to bring up a text box and i'm going to go ahead and type in merry christmas And I just want a specific font. Like, I like the Britney font in Canva. So that's what I want to use. So I want my Merry Christmas in the Britney font. But this font is kind of thin. And if you go up here to the top toolbar, I'm not able to make it bold, right? So some text you can make bold, but some you can't. But that's not a problem because we're just going to go ahead and make sure our text is selected. Go up to Effects. Hit Splice. And 
let's change this to the same color as the text and we're just going to make some adjustments so i want my direction to be zero i want the offset to be zero and you see how how it's gotten thicker so i can even make it you know move it make it more thicker or less so i think I think 40 is good. Yes. Awesome. And I don't want this too close to my image right now. And I'll show you guys why in a second. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the T on my keyboard again for another text box. And I'm just going to make this design for my son. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in his name. change that text to black so we can see it and I want this right here let's change that font to Laura that's not that's League's partner okay so I like that but I can go up here and make it bold so I'm just gonna go ahead and make it bold awesome and I can make sure my text is highlighted, go to effects, and I can curve it a little bit so that it goes, you know, with this little wave right there. Hey creative, I really hope you're enjoying the video so far and that I've taught you a thing or two. If I have, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, and don't forget to check the description box for the links for everything that I used in this video. You'll also be able to find my social media links where we can connect on TikTok and Instagram and my website where you can sign up for my email newsletters and book you a one-on-one -on -one for any additional crafting help you may need. Okay, that looks good to me, perfect. All right, so now what we're gonna do is go ahead up here to share and we're gonna download this as a, Ooh. Ooh, excuse me y'all. We're gonna hit download. We're going to save it as a PNG, but if you have Canva Pro, you can save yourself a step and hit transparent file. So we'll download it as a PNG with the transparent file. But now that's free for Canva Pro members, but if you don't have Canva Pro, that's fine. Um, you'll still be able to remove the background, okay? So once we have that, we're just going to go ahead and hit download. Once it's downloaded, let's go ahead over to Cricut Design Space, hit new project. And yeah, design space looks so so different. Like you can tell, I don't be doing, um, I don't be using my Cricut too much because I came in here earlier and I was like, what, what, what's all this new stuff? <laughs> so we're just gonna go ahead and upload that image into design space. Hit complex, continue, and so you see our background is already deleted. Um, but if you didn't have Camera Pro and needed to remove your background, you can do that in this step. Now, I already know that um, these like snowflakes and things are going to be a headache to cut because it is a very intricate de detail. So I'm just going to go ahead and erase it. Now, if you have more patience than me, you can leave it on and give it a go. But I don't. <laughs> I don't have time for that. Okay, and that looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and hit apply and continue. And this is our cut file and this is our print link cut file. We, we want it as a cut file. Go ahead and hit upload. And we'll just go ahead and insert that into our canvas. Now, obviously this is way too big. So let's lock this, lock our proportion. Okay, and let's take it to 11.5 because that's like the widest the Cricut can cut. All right, awesome. Let me just zoom out a little bit so you guys can see. All right, so now we have this, right? Now you can cut it just like this if you want to, and that's fine. Just keep in mind it'll be all in one color. You can change the color if you want to, um, things like that. But what I'm going to do, the reason why I didn't put the Merry Christmas so close to the design is because I knew I wanted to separate it. And in, the, in order to do that with the Cricut, I'm going to go grab a shape.
make sure it covers that area select both items on the screen and slice now remember when you slice you can only do one layer at a time okay and we're just going to did i click it oh yeah i did let's just let's look all right cool so now we're just going to delete all the pieces we don't need like that square this extra part right here and now merry christmas is separated from the rest of the design yay so i can change the color on this and i'm going to do that in the green so we have our merry christmas and if you wanted to which i do i want to put his name in the same color as merry christmas so what i can do is duplicate this and so we have it duplicated let's go to the contour and we're just going to remove some pieces like this piece and this piece and that piece okay so now the name is like kind of free and clear i mean you could just go ahead and remove all everything if you wanted to but i'm just going to remove the stuff that was closest to his name and go ahead grab his shape and do the same thing that we just did basically take this oval stretch it out Make sure everything I want cut is covered. Go ahead and slice it. And see, everything is free. Delete all the extra pieces. And now I need to contour this where his name isn't there. So I'm just going to go over here to this little side panel. and start removing all the letters and the pieces inside the letters and again guys everything i use will be listed in the description box below and a lot of you guys always ask if like um i do one-on-one -on -one help i do do one-on-one -on -one help you can book a one-on-one -on -one section via my website jstewartslaboratory.com okay so i think we have all the pieces let's check yes we do awesome so now we're just going to take his name and we can stick it back in there and we can change the color of that as well look at that look how easy that was is this not bomb is this not bomb <laughs> so i'm going to go ahead and select um the monogram and his name together because i want those to be the same size and we're going to do that with the 11 by half I mean, 11 by half, <laughs> 11 and a half with our proportions locked so it auto adjusts for us. So the dimensions will be 11 and a half by 15.821. All right. And I'm just going to take the Chris, Merry Christmas. It's already 11 and a half by 3.198. Awesome. So now that we have that, we're just going to go ahead and hit make it. make sure we reverse everything because we'll mirror everything because we are, are working with htv now for the red i'm using heat transfer warehouses um uh wallica express vinyl but for the blue i mean i said blue child am i colorblind <laughs> but for the green i'm going to be using caesar's uh twinkle HTV and those will be linked for you guys in the description box. So Caesar's Twinkle HTV is like really thick. So when I cut it, I do custom settings on um I do glitter iron on and I do more pressure and I cut it twice. That's just for me, you know, to make sure that it cuts or whatever. Um so just just but the wallet cut cuts regular, just do it on vinyl. Um, but the Caesar Twinkle needs a little bit more pressure. All right. So now that we have everything on the mat, everything's mirrored, we're going to go ahead and cut everything out. Thank you for hanging with me to this point in the video. We are almost done. If you've enjoyed this video, you learned something new, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. 
So once everything's all cut out, of course, we're going to go ahead and weed it. And this is the heat transfer warehouse wall cut express vinyl. And I really like it, you guys. It cuts really, really well and it weeds really, really well. And the pressing time is only like five seconds and you only need your heat press to be at 305 degrees. So I think this is going to be like one of my new favorite vinyls. I'm always going to make sure that I kind of keep a little bit on hand for when I do work with vinyl projects. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take my sack and I like to pre-press it before I put my design on it and give myself a crease. And the crease just helps me know where the center of my project is so I can kind of keep everything, you know, like nice and aligned. And now, like I said, um, my heat press is at 305 degrees. And I, since I'm doing, I guess you could say like multiple layers, I'm doing this layer in the green HTV. I'm only going to press this vinyl for two seconds. And that is just enough for it to tack down enough just for me to lift it so that I can add the green vinyl onto it. And it's a two second tack time. And that is only with the Wallaca Express vinyl um from heat transfer warehouse and now i'm just weeding my caesar twinkle and look how good that weeds and that is only because i put it on those specific settings because y'all when you, this caesar twinkle is so pretty but it is super thick and it needs to be cut um with a little bit more pressure in a couple times so now that i'm like watching this back i'm like you know what? i really could have just pressed all this at one time but, you know, it, it still worked out in the end. So now I'm just going to go ahead and press this fully so that everything is um sticks down. And remember, whenever you're working with um vinyl, you never want to put your exposed vinyl to your heat press, okay? So always make sure it's covered, whether it's with this transfer film that comes with the vinyl, you put a Teflon sheet down, or whatever it is may be. Okay, and so this Santa sack I'm using is no longer available, but I will link some alternatives in my Amazon storefront from you guys, and that will be linked in the description box below. Okay, and this is the outcome, guys. It looks absolutely beautiful. I love it. What do you guys think? Will you be making this? As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you later.